Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're talking about the Ping G425 irons. Uh, everything Ping has packed into these irons, kind of from the past generations, but also into new into the G425 irons. Um, they've got more distance, they've got more forgiveness, they've got a higher launch, and they've done all of that in a relatively compact, easy to look at, uh, you know, appearance at address. So, uh, Thomas, I know these are very impressive irons. I think we are, the right place to start is just the new club face that is going to expand the face flexing and therefore add more distance. And that is kind of your variable face thickness club face that you typically find uh, maybe in like a fairy wood, for example. It's kind of that metal wood type uh, club face that you're used to seeing in a uh, type of a club like that. These irons contain that club face. It's going to be a hot ball speed uh, and hot uh, launch off the club face. So. That's the first start with these irons, and that's how they're going to get that distance that maybe you see out of a stronger lofted set. Uh, but in these kind of yeah, more traditional lofts, uh, they're, they're going to keep up distance-wise because of that club face. Yeah, the variable face thicknesses is a big technology for Ping because, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, the lofts aren't completely jacked versus other different models that cross the the lofts aren't completely jacked versus other competitors. Yeah. So the 7 iron loft, for example, has got 30 degrees of loft on it. So some other testing we've done, mm -hmm. some of those seven irons can get 26, 27. And we all yeah. know that's pretty close to a five or six iron yeah. on some more traditional iron retro spec mm -hmm. per se irons across the board. Um, so that is going to help generate some more ball speed. So you're going to notice with the G425s an increase in ball speed, but not done through the loft changes. Yeah. We all know if you decrease loft on the club, you're going to generate right. more ball speed. So that's the one thing we kind of notice. Other things I kind of noticed with the with the with the specs with the club is heel to toe. So from heel to toe, it is a little bit sleeker. It's a little bit sleeker, but the club head is still three percent higher MOI. So it's still going to be a little more forgiving, even though the club head's a little bit smaller. So mm -hmm. that's always awesome when you get that slightly sleeker look to a club. We all know that we don't like to see a massive game improvement iron looking down. Right. At it. Yeah. The way they're able to do that is you know the, I guess the weight that was saved by just ever so slightly making that club face a little, or that club length a little shorter, is they added weight to the heel and the toe there. And that's of course adding the perimeter weighting, more forgiveness, more support when you have that miss hit. So, um, and then of course the miss hit, we talk about the feel of the club, right? It's a cast iron, it's not a forged iron, but you know, in testing, I know you've spoken highly of the feel. Um, there's a few different materials in this club, right? So it's a stainless steel body, uh, which is kind of the, the the, the norm for a cast iron, but then they've got this badge behind the club face here that includes aluminum, it includes kind of an ABS material, and then like a dampening tape all inside here that's going to kind of stabilize the club head at impact, whether you hit it in the, in the center, whether you hit it on the outside of the center, and then kind of reduce those vibrations as well. So the feel is also delivered here by ping in the G425 irons. Yeah, and also kind of touching on fitting specs with these with these irons. So you can get the G425 irons from five degrees upright all the way to five degrees flat. So it's important to get the right color coded dot on your club, which is going to get create the right lie angle presented at setup and then also at impact for you the way that you swing a particular club. Mm -hmm. So it's important to work with a club fitter on lie angle. Other fitting things to remember is the AWT 2.0 golf shaft. That is the stock steel golf shaft. And we also have the Ulta CB slate graphite shaft. That is also the stock shaft that comes with the G425 irons. But there are plenty of other aftermarket shaft options at no upcharge, and then also a couple other mm -hmm. different ones to add in there as well. Yeah, so you wanna work with your fitter, of course, a second swing to determine which shaft is right for your game for the G425 irons. And I think the last thing we should mention too is the Arcos technology that uh, Ping has partnered with Arcos to provide that into the sort of the stock grip of the Ping G425 irons, provides you all the data uh, and information about your swing on the golf course to help you identify what you need to work on in your game. Uh, so all of this included with the G425 irons, there's a lot of technology, a lot of features with these clubs, but the bottom line is they're gonna help you play better, Thomas. So um, golfers, if you're interested in the G425 irons, Second Swing is a place to go, whether secondswing.com or whether in one of our five store locations. We've got experts that will help you out, identify what specs to properly fit your game uh, for the G425 irons. So Thomas, thanks for helping me out, providing the information on the technology today. Yeah, come on in and get fit for these irons.